hit while out on the road, a trend Utah Highway Patrol officer says is growing. It's a tough situation to hear that on the radio. What they're hoping all drivers will remember. Plus, it's the last home game for an RSL legend. Nick Raimondo is just minutes away from a big moment in his career. It is very satisfying to help somebody. 100 volunteers, five days of work, and one big surprise. We have the latest Dream Team surprise coming up. Three sexual assaults reported in just one night here at Utah State University. How students are reacting, plus what they hope is done. Then a new wildfire in Utah County sparks late in the fire season. Why investigators are hopeful this fire could be out before the weekend is over. These areas are growing and we want to make sure that, that we keep people moving. Saratoga Springs is showing no signs of slowing down. We take you to the extended Mountain View Corridor in tonight's Growing Utah Report. And hundreds of people from across the country came to Antelope Island <laughs> for this. A little bit tiring, you have, to, you have to make sure you're in good shape. It's a sight to see as people witness a critical step in the lives of these bison in the wild. It's just telling them our entire nation is behind you. A sign of unity from a group of Utahns, the unique way they're supporting loved ones after the massacre in Mexico. It was anything but a smooth flight to Salt Lake City. I, I just think it's terrible. It needs to be investigated. Why the flight had to change course, prompting the FBI to take action. Temperatures remaining above normal, but there is a cool down. We'll show you in the 70 forecast. The only country they know is actually the United States. Uh, a lot of them don't even speak Spanish. Local families living in fear ahead of a major decision going before the Supreme Court. How those living here in Utah are getting some peace of mind. And a daring rescue near Mount Olympus. What we're learning about the crew's mission overnight and why some call them unsung heroes. It's been three months since anyone has seen two children from Idaho. Tonight, the hunt for a local couple connected with their disappearance takes a turn. You used the word cult. What do you mean by that? The focus is just so much on the end of the world. You know, this, this idea that it's coming. In a Fox 13 exclusive, a relative of the missing children pleads for their safe return. <laughs> A terrifying moment for a 10-year-old just 200 feet from his house when a car approaches him. We're hearing from him coming up. And a local man is embracing the future like no one else. In all reality, it was uh, experimentation and curiosity. We'll show you the radical changes he's made to his life to make what's previously been science fiction a reality. A dry and mild start to the new season. Winter, it's here. Of course, it's going to start looking and feeling a lot more like the new season. I'll have your forecast coming up. Four family members killed in their Grantsville home. Now, in the wake of tragedy, the community is coming together. We have the story coming up. New details tonight in the deadly avalanche that killed a teen in Farmington Canyon and the attempt to save his life. They made every effort, and they should be... They should know that, that what they did made a difference. What first responders are revealing about the moments leading up to the rescue. And he was the center of controversy for practicing his religious beliefs in the classroom. She just told me it's unacceptable. Wipe your ashes off. Fox 13 catches up with the Bountiful Boy and his meeting with the president and the changes the commander in chief is making to protect kids like him. A beautiful holiday weekend so far. But a change is coming. Your forecast on the way. The United States seeing its first death linked to the coronavirus. It was a male in his 50s. He was not a resident of the long-term care facility. How the president is responding and how Utahns infected with the virus are doing tonight. Plus, new developments in the search for JJ and Tylee, including what happened just days before their runaway parents got married. And it came across it, and it just like... I, I was shocked when I read it. How one woman describes her interaction with the husband of the missing kid's mother. And it's a final goodbye for a canine officer killed in the line of duty. It's something he's gonna remember forever. You know, he's gonna take it with him. The city of Harriman paying its respects to K-9 Honda. Winter storm moving in. How much snow will pile up? I'll let you know in the forecast.